Hello everyone, and as you can tell, we're on the flight again. Flight and messy train. Nope, I'm sorry, messy plane. We're heading for the altitude, because I heard it through the grapevine. From my partner, hustler, and the housewives, he said that them two are fighting with one another, allegedly, because the other one wants to come back. But mother say no, no, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, 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 yeah. We heard it through the grapevine from none other than Hostler and the Housewives. Yeah, yeah. Check them out, y'all. YouTube channel, uh, Hustler and the Housewives. Okay, he's a very good blogger over there doing his darn thing. And then when I check him out, I'm like, Lord, him and that scrolling a piece of paper. But he said something exciting on his channel today that I was like, what? Is it paradise over there? Is it fighting in the paradise over there? With Marlo Hampton and Nene Leakes. I'm like, what happened to all of the chitter chatter, all of the posting on social media, especially on Instagram, that they were out and about and partying with one another. And she's at the Lanithia Lounge, meaning Nene. And she's just having all her friends and cohorts come over there and party, party, party. Party all the time, party all the time, party all the time. That's right, in my, what's his name? Eddie Murphy, when he was singing back there in the day. That was his little diddly. Child, what is going on? What is going on? One of them get cut and the other one elevate. I tell you, is jealousy rearing its ugly head? Y'all tell me, is something going on? Give me the 411. Because I'm just hearing it on the YouTube streets, honey. Holler at me if you know anything about this situation between Marlo Hampton and Nene Leakes. And Marlo making, allegedly, a promise to bring Nene Leakes back. Just for a few episodes here and there. Maybe cameo the sides to, like, kind of give us a backstory of how she's doing. Uh, since Greg been dead and gone and this, that, and the third. And, woo, she would have some things to say. Very salacious because she's right now allegedly dating a married man who has a child. Okay? And the wife is not happy about it. Okay? All down in North Carolina. Okay? And Peter Thomas happened to be the one that set him up. But that's not the juice. That's old juice. What we're talking about now is this new juice that's being poured from the grapevine. Okay? Because like my Marvin Gaye boys, I heard it through the grapevine. How much longer will you be mine? My friend, how long will you be mine? My friend, Nene, if I don't bring you back on the show. Yeah, 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 yeah. Or would you let me go? <laughs> I'm like, isn't that the Bopsy Twins? Chai, is that not the Bopsy Twins? They got on the same outfit. And, of course, um, what's this? Uh, she was at, hold on one second. Hello? Yeah, who it is? I know who it is. I know who it is. I'm taping. I'll call you right back in a few minutes. All right. I'll, bye. Okay, guys. That was my cousin out of town. He had to get that call. But anyway. Yeah, go get going back now. Don't let me stop. Now, don't let me stop. Just because I had that little interruption, that brief intermission. Okay. But let's get back to the story at hand. We on the mess plane and we riding at a full altitude and we climbing. We are climbing heights. Okay. Till we get to about 43,000 feet above air traction okay but yes nene might be oh she's sitting over there let me see she messed with a married man she's not really happy she's going through a midlife crisis uh her friend marlo has pretty much taken her spot and she's living the life that she once lived okay could you smell jealousy could you smell discernment no it's not discernment it's um it's not detriment either ah uh, what is it guys i'm, I'm drawing a blank here <sighs> it's not jealous. Is it rearing of the ugly head, jealousy, greed? 
and profitability for somebody else but not her Ooh, what does nini feel Ooh, what does nini feel about marlo hampton because that used to be her best bud they used to always be hanging out together talking about each other talking about everybody else around them and just having a good old time but see marlo hampton saying it's time for me to have some financial stability here some financial stability because i have two young um nephews i'm trying to raise for my sister i help her raise while she's being incapacitated and trying to get well and i don't need nene to be bringing me down because she'll probably try to take over everything and then i'll be back in the shadows but right now i'm in the spotlight living my life let's go crazy spotlight i'm living my life let's go crazy that's what marlo probably trying to say she don't need no man no more well, she really needed a man. She's always by herself and getting them dollars however she could, okay? But we ain't going to go in her past. We're going to talk about her present and move on into her future. But she got her peach. She solidified herself. And, yes, Nene helped her get it. And do I think she's wrong? And she is being accused of not trying to bring Nene back at this time on the show. And she was, like, foretold to do that. <coughs> and she failed miserably. I can look at it from two different phases. One... Ha <sighs> Nene is a hard cookie to try to crack. And then I should say nut trying to crack open because she wants things her way and she only sees it her way. And with Marlo being her first season as a real peach holder, she don't want to have to compete against Nene. She don't have to grovel down at Nene. And she don't want Nene to probably say, Girl, I got you him. I could take you out of here. You know, this kind of you know, negative reaction and, and daily dialogue or weekly daily dialogue they have to go through as far as taping and then doing their confessionals and this that and the third and it just might not be a good look uh, for nene if marlo comes out and say something you know horrific about nene and her confessionals you know what i'm saying so i'm like are we ser ser uh ser we call it serving uh servaging no it's not salvaging so i guess serving I can't I can't think of the name I can't talk tonight either but it's like you're serving a friendship so I'm like wow wow they've been friends for how long ever since I know Nene there was a Marlo at least in that third season I believe of a housewife and I can't see them just really going down the sewer together you know Marlo don't like the sewer and Nene she's just swimming down there she don't know why she's down there because like I said she's grieving and she's having a midlife crisis. At least that's what I put her as. So, but she wants to be back in television. Because her friend Cynthia Bailey has already solidified a big brother role over there. That I had heard through the grapevine, through the YouTube streets, you know. It was all allegedly that her and Tiffany Pollard, a.k.a. We Love New York, was going to be on Big Brother. But that didn't pan out so it's like what does nene have going on at this point other than doing local radio broadcasting being a personality uh, on their platform here and there and then she has the little Nithia lounge and other than that you know has her will completely dry drew up or dried up dried up Ah, I don't know, but like I said, I heard it through the grapevine that Marlo don't want to give her none of her time, baby, not in person, not in private, and definitely not on the show, oh, yeah, 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 Marlo say, baby, I love you, but I got to go, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I'm like, Paul Nini. Paul Nini. Everybody just leaving her, honey. They just leaving her in the dust. But, of course, when you do dirt, and by her own words, her own admission, when you play dirty. Wait a minute, what she said? When you play dirty, you can never win. So, that might be true to Nini. You know, when she played dirty, how can she plan to come up on the other side of a mountain? How can she come up on the other side? Because she knows she said some dirt. She said some dirt about Candy. She said some dirt about other players on the Real Housewives of Atlanta. What they have to do to get what they get for spinoffs and this, that, and the third. And, uh, you know, they not taking up for one another. They backbiting. I'm like, didn't you do some of that, Nene, yourself? Didn't you do some of that, girl? Didn't you do some of that yourself, some girl? <laughs> All right. So it's like, hugs out, Portia out, Phaedra out. Sheree Mao will be out because she ain't got no storyline. So what do we have? What do we have? 
So my thing is, Marlo may or could have, but they've already taped. It's wrapped up. It's a done deal. Nene will not be seen more than likely on season 14. Now, 15, I don't know. But like I said, I really would need to have Marlo try to focus on Marlo. That them bops the twins again in them dresses, okay? But of course, Marlo wears them well, much more so than Nene. <coughs> but I would have to say, I would... If I was Marlo, you know, if Nene is showing me some kind of discord right now or she's feeling herself and just trying to lay low and be with the man or married man at that, close your legs to married man, Nene, that's what you told Kim Zosia, but I guess it doesn't uh, apply to you when you're put in that same situation, okay? But if I was Marlo, I'll go on and continue to do what I need to do for myself and for my family, especially those two nephews. I would try to, you know, be the best housewife I could so they'll keep me on for season 15, 16, 17. She need to bank her money and, you know, still keep relations with Nene if Nene's willing to do that. Because, I mean, just because she's on the outside looking in, she was once there. She could have still been there, but she overplayed her hand. She went on and said things that she shouldn't have said. Then she tried to back it on back backpedal and try to smooth things over when the road was already repelled, re, uh, restructured and detoured another way where she couldn't get back in. It was just like we loved you, we liked you, we moved on. Okay? And that's it. That's all. Got it good. good. So, it's time for Marlo to shine and not think about anybody else at this time. Even though um, it, she was a good friend I guess I, I, you know they played like they were good friends even though Nene looked like she took more advantage of Marlo and Greg when Greg was alive than she really did as far as fostering a fostering a friendship with her and keeping it kosher she always made to me in my eyes Marlo seemed like she didn't know what the hell she was talking about she treated Marlo any kind of way she dissed her when she wanted to she walked off on her when they were taping a show and got in her little cabana wheel where the boy was rolling down the street on a bicycle you know like in uh, Asian America <laughs> when they get in that little cute little thing and then they be uh, pedaling their bike and pulling them along like a baby carriage she left Marlo down high and dry at that table and went on about her business. I mean, it's like Nene just never apologized for her bad behavior or her bad demeanor at all. And that's why I said, no, it's time for Marlo to shine. And if Nene will still be there, uh, then they can probably salvage something or whatever. But Nene probably treat Marlo just like she treated Cynthia. When they don't want to kiss her ass no more, she don't have no time for them. But, you know, like I said, Cynthia brought Nene back uh, when she had to call herself you know, living a high life in Hollywood and they didn't want her anymore and they had closed some doors to her out there. She wanted to run back and that's how her, she got back through Cynthia. And then she tried to take over the whole show again. And I just really feel that's what Nene's going to do. If Marlo provides that little opening for her to get back in, she's going to come in thinking she owned everything. She started everything. She is everything. And pretty much we have beat that dead horse and we don't want to resurrect it at all. Okay. We know, we know, we know. Okay, but you still got OGs on there like Kenya Moore, Candy Burris. Um, Marlo, you can kind of include her. Even though she's the first time Peach holds, she's been there. She's been a staple to uh, be reckoned with. And, you know, they're just trying to make their money. I mean, this is the crappiest show they can probably want to be on. But it makes them millions of dollars and they don't have to do much thinking at all it's just more so a reaction type show and how good you want the reaction to be so you can be solidified and having another seat at the table of uh, returning for another season not making any um decisions important decisions about the show but uh yeah i just thought i had to come in and give me a little spill on that i was like no 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 i know nene ain't cutting up my goodness <laughs> go on over to zeus network and solidify yourself over there and take portia your baby sister with you honey because Bravo don't want y'all no more whether y'all want to hear it or y'all want them to come out and just say it or put it in lights or put it in the sky through a bubble or what do you call that a boop or bleeper I don't know what they call them big old things that be slowly uh, scrolling in the sky, you know, advertising and stuff. I don't know what they call it, a blip. Maybe it's a blip they call it. Put it up there. We don't want you no more, Nene. Move on. I mean, you need something like that to tell you to move on, that nobody's interested in you from the Bravo franchise. That, well, maybe Carlos King, he's supposed to be starting something, hopefully. 
uh, in Atlanta, something similar to, um, we call that uh, Birmingham, Huntsville, Alabama, something, uh, marriage, something. I don't forgot, but anyway, I will be trying to cover it if he makes it, because I would like to see him, meaning Carlos King and Andy Cohen, go at it for who's doing the best franchise of reality series. Because <laughs> remember, Carlos King started over there at Bravo Entertainment, and he's been doing very well on OWN, so I ain't going to say he would be able to uh, spark the magic again, but who's to say, you know? Maybe Andy needs that type of competition to get himself on point because he's been dry tired and through lately okay and i'm surprised they still kept his show going on but it is what it is and it's privilege he can stay and do whatever you want to do because he did that mess on new year's eve talking about the uh governor or the mayor and went on down there talking about ryan c chris and every other artist that was out there trying to perform for us for new year's eve he was just clowning drunk as a skunk and saying anything anything he thought he could get away with and he did because he'll probably be hosting this year in 2020 new year's rocking eve again okay but that's all i had guys y'all get down in the comments y'all tell me what y'all think about that is um marlo, Hamp marlo hampton caught blocking nini from getting back in that door girl and she's saying the door is closed baby the door is closed don't come in my closet we don't want you no more girl we don't want you no more is that what marlo hampton's telling nene lisa she got a problem with it girl y'all get down and tell me come on up in here in the comment section let's dialogue about this mess because that's some true tea that's some true mess and it's all allegedly but we can show put our opinions on it and speculate here and there what's going on how it's going on and why it's going on and well well <laughs> my goodness my goodness my goodness y'all i will see y'all next video take care of yourselves bye-bye